guys and welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be the next instalment for the greens for the Swatch Your Stash project that I'm doing. If you've not seen any of these before, I will link the playlist in the description box down below. But what it is, is I'm just swatching all of my eyeshadows just to see what I have, what to, what different tones are, what going to look like what on my skin tone, all that sort of thing. Because even though I swatched them separately, when I buy an eyeshadow palette, I swatch it almost pretty much straight away. But I never swatch the tones together, so I never go, oh, Oh, that's a green, I'm gonna swatch all the greens. That's what this project is basically, is I'm just swatching all of my shades in one go in, across multiple videos so that I can see what tones of green I have in my collection, what tones of purple I have in my collection, what tones of blue I have in my collection, so that when I go out and I go, oh, that's a wonderful blue palette, and then I can be like, no, I have every single blue tone there is going, so I don't need a blue palette. Anyway, that was a really long introduction, so I'm just gonna start swatching some green eyeshadows here. I have a pile here because the eyeshadows were out, because I was filming other videos. So I'm just gonna do the ones here. So uh, first of all, I have the chocolate gold, and in this one, there is one green, and it is this, actually there's two greens. So there's money bags, this one here, and there's this one, which is holla for a dollar, which is kind of a very golden, old gold kind of green. I considered putting in the one in the gingerbread palette in the greens, but it's more gold than green. This one's definitely more green than gold. So I will compromise and I will do this one instead. So Holla for a dollar looks like that. And Money Bags is more forest green and it looks like that. That was a really bad swatch. It looks like that. So that's those two. The next Too Faced palette is the white chocolate. And in the white chocolates there is mint chocolate, which is this one here, which is a matte Forest green, I would say. I know it's supposed to be like mint green, but it's not really. That's what that one looks like. I have the Zodiac Love Signs palette. There is one green in here, but it's more like a sea green. It's, more, it's very teal-like, and it's this, this one here. I'm going to swatch this, but I imagine it's going to come out pretty blue. Oh no, that is quite green. And that's what that one looks like. The swatch was really bad because I did it on my pinky finger. But the pigment is there. It's kind of grumbly, but it is there. So that's what that one looks like. Just putting all my palettes down by my feet. The next palette is the original Zodiac palette by BH Cosmetics. And there is three greens in here. There's this one here, Sagittarius. This one next to it, Capricorn. And the one below Capricorn, this one here. So Sagittarius. Looks like that. Capricorn is more golden. And it looks like that. That is beautiful. These eyeshadows are amazing. I say that every time I swatch them. I love this eyeshadow palette so much. And the matte one looks like that. So two olives and a, just a pure green there. At least this colour palette looks more green than the last one I did. The last green section I did looked basically blue. We're getting to the more green section of my eyeshadow collection, I think. I'm filming this straight after the last one because I realised as I was packing my eyeshadows away, there is no way I'm going to remember which, one I've, which ones I've swatched and which ones I haven't. So if I do all of the green ones, just in preparation, and then I'll just put them up as and when, I figured that was the best plan. So I have the Urban Decay Spectrum palette here. This one has one, two, three greens in it and a kind of I don't know it's in the yellow section is it really a green okay that's not green okay so there's this one here the darkest one is called a hundred and that's what that one looks like probably a hundred acre wood because it's like a forest green right there is a hatter which is the bright 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 green in the middle And that's what that one looks like. And there is Mean, which is the lime green shimmer right at the top. And that's what that one looks like. I don't know if you can see that on camera or not. Can you see that? I don't know, I can't tell. But yeah, that's what those ones look like. Check this out. I've swatched so many green eyeshadows that look my fingers are starting to stain. Crazy. I have the original Soph Times Revolution palette. This one has one green in and it is this shade here. I lost the slip so I can't tell you what it's called but it's that one. 
and that's what that one looks like. Ignore the swatch from my hand, that's from the one I did a minute ago to see if it was green or not. I have the Revolution Iconic Pro 2, which has one green in it, and it is this one, and it is called Ambition. And that is what that one looks like. And lastly, I have the Urban Decay Heavy Metals palette, this one. And there is one green in this at the bottom there, and it is called Mullet. And that is what that one looks like. Okay, so that's all my greens for this section. A lot of olive tone greens this time round, I feel, whereas before it was more blue tones. Now we've got a lot of olive tones. So I wonder what the next section of green is going to look like. I don't even know if I have any more greens in my collection, so I'm going to have to dig through my drawer and see if I have any more. If you don't see another green video, then it's because I ran out of green eyeshadows. But yeah, thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye.